Hello and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having an amazing week. I'll tell you how my week is going so far. I'm prospering and I'm drinking ice water. I'm taking my days one second at a time. I'm coming at you guys today with a five below haul and I am really excited to show you guys some of the stuff that I found. Um, five below is mainly focusing on back to school right now. Uh, but so when I went, I really did expect to see like fall stuff. Little disappointed that they didn't have anything out, but they did have an aisle cleared. So that might mean that they are going to set some fall stuff out soon. But Dollar Tree has already dropped their fall stuff and Walmart is slowly trickling it in. So I was kind of like, where's the fall stuff? Where are the scarecrows? Um, but I still got some really good stuff. So it's still worth doing. It was still worth going ahead with my haul and getting some stuff that I needed for my office and some back to school stuff because I am a college student. And it's always great to have organizational tools. And I feel like Five Below is an amazing place to shop for organizational stuff, bins, uh, planners, notebooks, stuff like that. Um, so let's get into it. The big boy today, we got the big bag. That's how you know it's a real haul, is when you get the big boy. So just gonna go right through this bag. I'm just gonna cut to the thing that I'm most excited about first. Um, and I've been dying to film this haul because I wanted to have this stuff sitting until I was able to just film and show you guys before I actually set it all up. So I'm really excited to set this up. First thing, this is a under the shelf storage basket. I thought this was dope for five below. Like, so the way this works is you can see that there's two like hooks. And so it literally just slides under any shelf. Obviously the picture has linen closet energy, but I'm not gonna use this in my linen closet. I have white cabinets in my kitchen. So I'm actually gonna try to put this in the kitchen and I'm gonna try to make this a fruit basket um, because I own a horse. And so I go out to the barn every morning and I usually feed him carrots or apples. Um, and I love buying fresh apples and his favorite are gala apples. And he loves the, I like getting the really big ones. So like the big boys. Um, and I think that was kind of like my idea with this. I was like, this looks like it could be a perfect fruit basket underneath your cabinets in the kitchen. Um, or you could store rags in the linen closet. You know, you could use this for many things. But for me, I'm going to use this in the kitchen. But you could absolutely use this in the linen closet. You could absolutely put this in your closet. Um, if you're low on closet space, like these types of organizers, what you want to gravitate towards. Because these are like adding space. It's creating storage where there is none. Where there would otherwise be none. So hanging this um, creates more storage space for you. I think I might go back and get more of these and actually put them, because my garage only has one shelf, which I think is so annoying. There's like no storage built in in the garage. So I'm thinking about going back and getting more of these and putting them in my garage because there is one white shelf. So this will match. And I think in the garage, I could put, you know, grab and go stuff like my husband's hammer. Um, I say my husband's because I'm not, I don't build anything. He, one, he doesn't let me. And two, I'm not mechanically inclined, like literally at all. Um, I... I am not good with like screwing things in and like I'm not good with anything that has screws or like <laughs> any sort of hardware. I'm like, eh, can't do that. I mean, I'm not saying I can't because like I did serve 
for most, for y'all who don't know, I served four years in the military and I worked a maintenance career field. So like, yeah, I do know how to use a drill and I know how to use all those tools, but I'm not good at it. Like <laughs> at all. So I, so I just let my husband deal with it. So anyways, I'm going to use this as a fruit basket. And I think this is amazing. This is dope. And mind you, this is five fifty five. So this is, this is 55 cents over, you know, the typical amount, but I feel like it's worth it. Second thing that I got, I'm so excited about. This one is for my office, which is where we are now, which has two desks in this room. I have a vanity, which is where we are. This is where I film. And then I have a desk with my two monitors. And I do my schoolwork, my editing on my iPad. I got a printer over there. I got like, you know, all my stuff going on. So... I got this from Five Below, and I'm gonna go ahead and open it so that there's no like glare on the camera so you guys can see exactly like what it says. But if this is a dry erase board, and it comes with one marker, um, and so this one is my goals. So weekly to-dos, it has errands, chores, self-care. They had a lot of different boards at Five Below to choose from um, to meet your needs and I really like that because um I'm just gonna kind of hold this up while I talk so you guys can like read it while I talk but I liked that they had different ones to meet your needs like they had one that was all about food and for me I don't track what I eat um which personally I just like this one the most I liked that it has future plans because for me I get caught up in my to-do list like what do I need to do and I'll put like 20 things on the to-do list knowing I'm not going to accomplish all of it and I'm being upset that I there's not enough hours in the day you know to accomplish all of it and so I think it's nice and very kind to myself to put soons and eventuallys down so that it's not like it has to be done right now you know and if I don't get it done I'm going to be upset um errands because I run errands all the time if not every day like my husband works and I'm the one that you know I'm very traditional in terms of I like to cook I like to clean and very traditional housewife in the sense that I do like to do both of those things and will happily do them and I don't want him to help because I don't like the way he does it and that's just me like I own that and so I'm like I'll just do it because I know that you're gonna irritate me if you do it like you're not gonna do it right though and I don't want to teach you like I'll just do it you know so anyways I am always running errands my husband like he has social anxiety I don't force him to you know come to Target with me come to Walmart with me I barely like going to Walmart at this point um the Walmarts near me are just it's a madhouse. I had to be headphones in world out. Like that's why I don't really film at Walmart anymore. But you know, that's gonna change. So I am, I am, you know, getting over that and like choosing what times to go. But like, I do not go to Walmart on Sundays or Saturday. That like the weekend is no, not happening. There's way too many people there. And I just, I can't, I literally see people I know and I'm just like, so I like that I can put down what errands I need to do because I have a list in my kitchen. Like I have little sticky notes where I can write down what I'm fresh out of in the pantry or the fridge. So I know exactly what to get when I go to the grocery store, but I don't necessarily write down, you know, the toiletries and stuff that I get at Target or like little things I need to get. Like I need to buy, um, right now I need to get a bird feeder and I need to get a hummingbird feeder because I saw a hummingbird in my backyard. So I was like, I need to get a hummingbird feeder ASAP. I also need to look up their migration patterns because I don't want to interfere with their natural migration patterns. But at the same time, if I'm able to still feed them this late in the season, like I'm definitely going to do it. So anyways, chores, you know, I'm always clean. Like I said, I clean every day in order to maintain my space. I have to clean every day. It's really annoying, but it's just, I force myself to do like, you know, 15 minutes of cleaning. Typically on like Sundays, like there'll be one day where I like reset the entire space and do like, you know, the deep cleaning. What gets neglected for me? Self-care. 
I want to write it down. I want to write it down. And self-care for me is, you know, taking a bath, doing my full skincare routine. Like last night I stayed up and did my full skincare routine. It felt so good. And I'm wearing no, nothing on my face. And my skin just feels good today. Um, so, you know, literally penciling in self-care for myself. I know it sounds crazy, but like I have to do that because I'm kind of a workaholic and I just won't stop. Like I literally won't stop. And so I just think this board is really going to help me mentally. And so I, the reason I'm like blabbering on about this board is because I'm trying to convey to you guys who are watching this how helpful it is to have something like this. I know it's simple, but writing it down makes a difference. And be kind to yourself. Like if you have to pencil in self-care, pencil it in, sweetheart. Bath. That's gonna be that's gonna be mine. Bath. Um reading. Like I like to sit down and unplug and read books. Like I've started to bust out my old books and start reading. Um, so anyways, that's an, enough about that board. I'm really excited to start using that. Um, and I, I'm actually, I like that it can just hang up on the wall. So there's a, there's a little thing. I don't know how this works. So my husband's going to have to hang it up. I'm pretty sure you could literally hang it up with a thumbtack. So because I got that board, I wanted I, I knew that this marker was not going to be the move. So, and it's back to school season. So I got some markers to go with it. Um, these are $4.25. So this wasn't even $5. So um, I like the pastel colors. I really, my favorite color is pink. But like, these are all color, fun colors. I don't want it to just be black. Like I want it to be colors that, you know, speak to me. And I like that they have the erasers on the end. Like, they need to have the erasers on the end. I don't want it. So, because I was like, okay, you know, these do... I'm ex I am going to force myself to use that board, like, every day, starting today. So, I was like, look, these have um, erasers... But if you've used these before, they kind of suck. And if you're going to erase, you know, the whole board, you're going to need an actual eraser. So I like that they have, they had actual erasers. So this was $3.25. And this is an actual big boy eraser. And I like it. I like it. For erasing the whole board and not like sacrificing one of the erasers on the markers for it. Because you're not, I don't, you're not supposed to like erase a bunch of stuff like that. Then I got two spray bottles. Um, these are for my horse. One is going to be Listerine mixed with water to help with his fungus. And then uh, this one is going to be some sort of DIY um, shine spray for his mane and tail. So I'm gonna I'm going to mix my little potions up when I get the ingredients because I don't have any baby oil or whatever. I have the ingredients to make the Listerine spray, but I don't have the right Listerine because of course with horses, you have to be mindful of the ingredients that you're using. Like it needs to be the all natural. Um, whatever you're using needs to be all natural because their skin is different than ours. Their skin is sensitive. You have to use all natural detergents and stuff like that when you do horse laundry. Um, but in terms of the Listerine spray, you can use this one, but it has to be um, the antiseptic Listerine because that's the point. The point is to mix this and dilute it with water and spray it topically in order to get rid of fungus for my horse. So this was $2. So I was like, whatever, fine. This jug is also from Five Below. I know I never shut up about this this water jug, but um, I love this. It's just perfect. I picked up some more incense because your girl be lighting it up in here. I love incense. This was $2. Uh, Patchouli is my favorite because like I've mentioned before, I really gravitate towards like earthy tones, um, earthy scents. Um, 
So patchouli is very earthy. If you're looking to get into lighting incense, which, why do I light incense? Okay, let me just address this real quick because I do light a lot of incense. This is the secret to getting rid of stench or lingering smells after you've cooked like a heavy meal with like a lot of garlic, a lot of butter, and like, let's say your whole house smells like food. If you don't want your house to smell like food, crack the kitchen window or, you know, open the window or whatever. Let, keep the air circulating, get an air purifier. I have an air purifier up on my Amazon storefront. It's from Megawise. Light some incense and that will reset the air. I do not like my house smelling like food. Like, cause I do cook every day or I try to. I cook probably three to four, probably four to five times a week, I would say I cook. And the only way to have my space smell like fall or whatever other scents I want it to smell like, instead of whatever I cooked last night, I light incense every single day and night. You have to do it. And no, it won't set off your, your smoke alarm. It doesn't. Um, next thing I'm really excited about. This is a wireless shower speaker and I'm going to test this out and I'm going to see if she, she works and if she is, if she's worth the money. This was five bucks and apparently you can answer and end phone calls, which yeah, there are times where I am literally on the phone with my mom midday and I'm like, hold on mom, let me grab my tripod. And I literally have my tripod you know, with my phone on it, standing outside of the sh shower while I'm showering, I'm trying to be on the phone. Like, cause I don't want to end the call with her. I don't want to stop talking just because I'm back and I'm, you know, taking a shower after I've ridden my horse or whatever. So I like that you can answer and end phone calls. They, you got the start and the stop, you can change songs, then you have the power button. So super simple. And apparently all you do is stick it onto the, the wall. It looks like it just has a suction cup on the back. So we'll see how that works. I, I thought that was a unique find. I was like, I mean, it's worth testing it out and seeing. Like, it's worth at least seeing. Um, so this is actually the last thing of this haul. Last thing, um, <laughs> this foot massager. <laughs> there is no reason that I got this. But uh, I like having my feet get rubbed and my husband doesn't want to do it and I can only get a pedicure once a month I'm not gonna sit here and go get a pedicure or go to like a foot spa like put this on the ground under your desk or wherever you're sitting or wherever you sit most and you just roll your foot back and forth um, and it has like these little spikes it feels good y'all like don't knock it till you try it um, this was five bucks. So this is apparently acupressure. Deep tissue massage. It improves your circulation. I'm sure it does. But for me, I just like getting my feet rubbed. So I just like, I just seriously had what I had one of these at my um, apartment that I got from um, TJ Maxx. And it was pretty much the same thing. It was like bamboo. And then it had like, you know, the balls. But literally when it when you would like rub over it, it needed like WD-40. Like it literally was like, eh, 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 eh. like my cats were like freaking out because it was like that high pitched, like squealing sound. And I was like, let me just get another one. It's literally $5. Let me just go get another one. So this is a different brand. This is, and again, this is from Five Below. The other one was from um, Home Goods, TJ Maxx. And it was, it was squeaky. Um, this one doesn't seem to be squeaky at all. Like I would be able to tell by now if it was squeaky like the other one. But this thing feels so good. Like get you one. You want to talk about self-care? This is self-care. Like, <laughs> So yeah, that, that's the haul, guys. Um, we got the spray bottles for my horse, for the king. Have to pamper the king. And then I got this foot massager for self-care. Wireless shower speaker. 
because why not? Dry erase markers. I mean, dry erase eraser. Dry erase markers. Gold board. Incense. Listerine for my horse. My horse's fungus. <laughs> and then the fruit the fruit drawer or the under the shelf storage basket. So yeah, you guys should totally get a board for yourself. If you're thinking about it, you see, you saw this and you're like, man, I, I could really use like a board or an organizer for myself. Go ahead and try it out. It helps putting it all down on paper. But if you don't have the ability to go get one or you don't want to, or you prefer electronic, I've actually been using, um, Microsoft to do, I think it's called, or like Microsoft lists or something. It's the Microsoft version of like lists on iPhone. So the way it works is like you can put tasks for each day and then you can check them off on your phone as you go through them. And I think it helps to map out each day um, because for me, it just soothes like an itch inside of me. I really, I really like structure. That's just me. So I really like organization as well. So it, it just makes me feel like very like, <sighs> when, you know, the board spilled out and I'm just like, I know what I need to do. I got this. <laughs> so you've got this, you know what you need to do. Um, and you should follow me on TikTok if you haven't already. My handle is Peachy Maddie, and I post bougie on a budget mainly, which basically encompasses all of the things that I'm showing in these hauls without the explanation as to why I bought it or showing it up close or anything like that. Like it's there because it's TikTok, like they're a minute or less. So. I do bougie on a budget. I do things you might as well buy at. So things you might as well buy at Dollar Tree. Things you might as well buy at Five Below. Like you might as well. <laughs> and then I do lifestyle content. So if you want to follow me on TikTok, I would appreciate it. I just hit 350K. Eh, represent. Love you, TikTok. But at the end of the day, as I always say, I love you guys on YouTube the most. And I think you guys are the most authentic people and I love seeing these comments. Like, y'all are making, y'all are making my day. Like, I love looking at the comments. It's honestly becoming one of my favorite things. Just reply to people. And let's be real. What other influencer is doing that? Or taking the time to do that? That's something that I've noticed. Um, in my niche of lifestyle, my niche is like... The topic of my content so my niche is like lifestyle and there are other lifestyle creators that don't engage with their audience like literally at all <laughs> like they don't respond to comments they don't speak to them they don't respond to anything i mean there are literally other creators that that i eclipse in terms of followers and i'm reaching out like Hey, let's be friends. We have like super similar content and they just don't even respond. And I'm just like, this is exactly the problem. Like you think that you're better than, you think that for some reason you're above responding to people or acknowledging the people who are happy to see you and cheering you on. Like don't ever forget where you've come from. And for me, like, I love seeing the comments where you guys are like, I literally feel like I'm your friend. We are. <laughs> like, that's because I don't think of myself as some sort of like God or goddess or whatever. I just want to connect with you guys, really. And I want to connect with other women and girls who, you know or men who have similar interests as me and want to grow together and just create this like bubble of positivity 
Like we need more positivity in this world. We've been through so much with COVID and everything going on in the world. We've had violence, we've had loss, we've had grief. We've all been going through this together. And so I started Bougie on a Budget. Like, I literally started my social media journey like during COVID out of boredom. And then I realized like that I can help other people. I can actually impact other people's lives in a positive way. Like it gave me so much joy when I went to the post office and I shipped out all of my giveaway packages. And there was no purpose of me doing that giveaway. I did it out of the kindness of my heart. I gave away a five below speaker table before before the nation sold out. And then I gave I put together like uh, four little boxes of goodies to just send to four random other people that I chose. I just literally scrolled at random and picked people. But um, I'm thinking about doing a giveaway on YouTube soon so that you guys can, so I can share the love here on YouTube now that I have 7,000 subscribers. Oh my God, I love you guys. Like I'm literally speechless. <laughs> like I know I have 350K on TikTok, but I'm still like, oh, I have 7,000 subscribers. Oh my God. That's awesome. I love you guys. But anyways, I think I'm gonna do a giveaway soon. So stay tuned because I have a um, extra five below goodie box. And I think I'm gonna recreate. I'm just gonna keep making those. And I think I'm just gonna keep giving them away because I feel like one more thing. I just want to share one more piece of wisdom with you guys. I just feel like life is like a circle. Like you have to come, like everything in life has to come full circle. And so like, as you receive, you should give. Do you know what I mean? So like as abundance comes your way and you're receiving it, you should also give to someone else. That completes the, the karmic circle, I guess. That's kind of how I view it. Also, it's just great to spread positivity because you would be surprised um, the power of positivity and happiness. Um, I There was a point in my life where I didn't even, I didn't understand the power of positivity. And my God, does it make a difference? Like, put on your favorite song and just start dancing in your kitchen. Start dancing. It doesn't matter if the neighbors see you. It doesn't matter. Like, just start dancing. Buy yourself fresh flowers. Buy a $1.25 face mask for yourself and make yourself feel like a princess for the night. Like, you deserve it. And yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that. So let's all try to... So the message, the overall message from today Let's all try to live like this. Like, let's all try to be nice to ourselves with some self-care. Let's all this week try to set aside some time for self-care. And set aside some time for the things that we need to do. But also be kind to ourselves and understand that not everything is going to happen immediately. So that's the takeaway from this simple board from Five Below. I feel like a pastor right now, y'all. <laughs> I feel like I'm preaching. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of the week. You'll probably see me again before the week is through because let's be real, I be going to Dollar Tree every other day and I need to get more stuff for my fairy garden. So I'm probably gonna go tomorrow. So probably get ready for another Dollar Tree haul. Um, but I seriously hope that you guys have an amazing week and I hope that you're able to manifest a miracle this week. I hope something happens to you this week that makes your soul happy. Um, and I hope that something, I hope that a miracle happens to you all this week. I'm wishing it upon you all. So yeah, I will definitely talk to you guys soon. Bye.